Hello, Akron fans, and welcome to another exhibition match. This time we're going to be on Cataclysm Ridge, watching Shalka square off with Cybernetic Pony. Let's get this started, then. So, Cybernetic Pony is in the west side of the map, playing CISO, and... Shalka is in the east side of the map, also playing CISO. Both players are just getting themselves set up, very quickly setting their initial orders while paused, and then we'll see what they're up to. So, wow, Cybernetic Pony going for a very quick two, R two importer start with two resource processors. I'm expecting a lot of infantry. This you only would see if infantry is coming up in large groups, so I expect that within the next minute or two. And Shalka in their hand going for a much more conventional four resource processors start, well three and then four very soon after once he gets the chance. Probably get a couple more resource processors after that. Cataclysm Ridge is much more amenable to what Cybernetic Pony is trying to do. Shalka might be able to get away with this if he's very keen on his defense and his micro, or his micromanagement of his forces, which is not easy to do in Akron. But, really, quick rush strategies are quite powerful in this map. It's small enough that they work, though the newer version, oh, I should say Cataclysm Ridge as opposed to Hills, makes it a bit harder since there isn't as direct of a path between the bases. Regardless, rush strategies are still powerful and should still be treated as such. And, it looks like Shalka had some order set up. No, he is, in fact, has some order set up to build an RP at Cybernetic Pony's base. I... What? That... That can't be right. That, okay, never mind. He's undone that order regardless, but that... That's very bizarre. Anyway, Submarine opponent getting his first Marine up, and he has another reserve in stock, so he can very quickly get a second Marine once he wants to, or another... Well, whatever he wants, really. More infantry. Always more infantry. They build rather quickly compared to the rate at which importers get reserves, so two importers with one armory should work pretty well. However, he's not using them. I'm a bit suspicious why, but he isn't. Perhaps he's planning on getting a factory? I mean, it's possible he might go for a proxy, a couple proxy factories and build from there. Seems unlikely, however, and no, Shaka actually, well, we're seeing from further in the future, Shaka actually had gone through with that order for a little while. He has undone it. The RP is not being built inside of Cybernetic Pony's base, and Shaka does have an importer of his own, meaning he will be able to get some infantry of his own right now. While Cybernetic Pony is building up a factory, so he was actually going for factory. This will not be built, by the way. He doesn't have enough resources for it by a long shot. Shalka, of course, does, but then we're looking too far back to be sure. He is using those resources, in fact, to build more resource processors. Not worried at all about a rush coming from Cybernetic Pony. Instead, entirely focused on economy, though very quick QP RPs. This is not unusual, but it does mean he's probably going to go in for a mix of ATHCs and Lancers. You can get two or three ATHCs, two ATHCs off of starting Q Plasma. You don't even need to get any more. And here comes a short rush, and... Cybernetic Pony coming in at the 3 mark, and actually able to see up, see up to that importer and kill it. But that's something that Shalka can easily deal with. Both players actually at the present right now, neither of them are even working to deal with the past yet. They're still just working at their early game, setting up their macro, and setting up what they're going to be doing, and then trying to undo from there. And it looks like Cybernetic Pony was planning on going for a factory, a proxy factory right here, and no, he's still, he is actually going for that. So we have a proxy factory coming up. And no further infantry coming up, so the, all these reserves were meant to be used for a factory. He should get a couple, however, so he can actually make use of those reserves. And, frankly, I'm, how is he seeing this? No, I'm, I'm genuinely surprised. How in the world is this Marine seeing this importer? I, I'm... I'm actually confused. This sh I don't think this should happen. I, I'm fairly certain this should be invisible to the unit on the low ground. This is very bizarre. I mean, I... Okay, bear in mind, this is actually using an older version of the game. But, it's still pretty bizarre. It looks like he might have... I think he might have just positioned his troops just so that he was able to see up the hill, because it's actually slightly curved. If you look here, there's actually a very slight curve up here, and it looks like the units are actually able to see up the hill just barely, just enough that they can get in and attack. I did not realize that could happen. I suppose I should have. I mean, it's actually meant to work the way you'd expect in terms of hills with grades and such. But, you know, you think of it in terms of a real-time strategy game, where it's just you have high ground and low ground, and units on lower ground can hit units on higher ground. But, no, this is actually, if there's a line of sight, it works. Anyway, regardless, buildings do actually see above, see through hills. Buildings don't care about this stuff. So this comm center here, that will allow for better spotting. I'm just very surprised that that works. Like, that's... 
I, uh, very clever, assuming that's how it worked and it wasn't just a bug. But still, bizarre. And Shalka, on the other hand, not able to shoot down. Like I said, this is... I feel like something is up. Anyway, like I was saying, this is an older version of the game. And now the comp center is here, that actually does provide proper vision, but... I don't know. Anyway, this is an older version of the game. This is version 1.5. There aren't a lot of 1.5.1 games quite up yet. And there was some backlog I wanted to get through in 1.5. But I don't think this is actually addressed at all, if this is a bug at all. I don't even know if this is a bug. This is just... It could, like I said, just be interesting behavior from the fact that this hill is not actually flat. It's slightly curved up. Interesting to note, but not really relevant anymore, since that importer has been destroyed. Cybernetic Pony actually further up in the future. After destroying that, sending in for more infantry and building Lancers and an ATHC. So he's building Lancers and ATHCs, though he can only build another ATHC from here. He's got a couple of QPRPs back to the present. Now, two minutes down from here when Shalka is... Shalka looks to be not doing a whole lot. He has one RP that's proxied in Cybernetic Pony's third... Very risky place to put it. He has a factory being built up at the four minute mark. Well behind Cybernetic Pony. And like I said, this importer is being lost very quickly. Neither of them, neither of the infantry can deal with it. No, there we go. Now just, just in range to be able to deal with this Marine and saving the importer. So Shalka will be able to keep that ultimately. Cybernetic Pony jumping back to check out what's going on there. And looks like he's moving just out of the way so he doesn't have to worry about these forces. This, with this comm center here, it is able to properly spot. Doesn't have to worry of just using this little weird terrain trick. Now, one thing to note, this map is actually symmetric. I, When I make maps, I use GIMP to use the mirror tool to actually make this all symmetric. So this would happen just as well on the southwest side, or should happen just as well on the southwest side. In case anyone was worried about that. Kind of neat, though. Good to know. Weird esoterica, but still good to know. Two ATCs coming into the main base for Shalka, dealing quite a bit of damage to these RPs, having killed one and about to kill another. However, this is further than the present, back 440 mark, right near the unplayable past edge for Shalka. It's looking like he's going to be doing just fine, actually getting machinery and getting a mech. He is... Is he going for quick macrofab? I think he is going for very quick macrofab. And this comm center is able to see everything, however, it looks like Saturday Pony is able to see the entire base, knowing everything going on, seeing this mech, and will ultimately see the macrofab, which is inevitable. Or... No, it's not inevitable. What's probably inevitable is defense turrets. There'll be a defense turret placed right here. As we can see. And another defense turret will probably be... Well, that didn't last long. Another defense turret will probably be placed right back here, so it's actually more effective. And these RPs are running away, which is very wise. These ATHCs were coming in, though Cybernetic Pony has not undone this. He is still going for this attack. So Shaka will have to worry about that. He is moving his RPs for good reason. However, he is not getting the resources in the meantime. He is saving the money for actually losing them, but the amount of time it takes for them to move, that's worth it. For 160 LC, it's still worth it, but it's a disadvantage. Cybernetic Pony's harassment has actually been successful in slowing Shalka down, and Cybernetic Pony getting a second factory building a mech in his main base. Looks like he's probably going to build a macrofab from there and probably get Mars. Possibly Twin Mars. These ATTs are doing a great job just on their own. Massive ATTs coming in here. Shalka, two and a half minutes down from there, has his defense turret taking care of the infantry without issue, and a Lancer coming in as well, which should be destroyed fairly easily by this defense turret, but the defense turret may be overwhelmed by the sheer number of units it would have to defend against. And Shalka has jumped back further once again at the six minute mark, keeping a mech up in place to try to get rid of his Lancer before it does any real damage, and that will be very effective. Mechs are great anti air units if they can get into range, and he, in that case he was able to do so. The Lancer moving straight to his death, and Cybernetic Pony not... Actually, he does have the current energy. He has one move to save this Lancer, and he might do it. But I don't think... No, I don't think he will. He's lost that Lancer. So nicely done with that mech. Definitely pay for itself at that point. Lancers are expensive enough that it's worth it. And his ATC here, getting rid of an, yet another RP. So Shalka very quickly losing all of his economy. He's proxied an importer over in the northwest, and he still has his RP over in the southwest. While Cybernetic Pony doing very nice, safe in his own base. Nothing proxy, nothing to worry about, nothing really tricky going on. And it looks like... I think Cybernetic Pony just got this in the bag. Though Shalka does have these RPs over as well in the southeast, so Shalka doing a nice job hiding his economy. It's still just been slowing him down, however. Cybernetic Pony has had all this time to develop, to build up. He's... No, this is the second factory. He's actually further in the past. Cybernetic Pony jumping back to the present to macro, doing 
exactly what I say to do. Macro in the present, micro in the past. And as you can see, it's working out quite swimmingly. Shock, on the other hand, not actually out of Chronergy at this point. Though, not really doing a whole lot other than trying to save these RPs. He does have some Marines over in the corners, so he can rebuild. He has a couple of Importers in the corners. It looks like he's just going to try to go for a really sneaky Gorilla tactic, possibly just Proxy Factory right here, and then attack from behind, destroying Cybernetic Pony's one base. And Cybernetic Pony has no other infantry other than this one Marine in his base, or these two Marines, or sorry, Marine Special Ops in his base. The point is the Marines, the Builders, because that's what's going to allow him to rebuild if he needed to, and since he lost the Marines on the attack from the looks of it... However, Shalka only has three minutes to deal with this. He's three minutes down from where he's lost everything. And his ATHC is getting distracted by the factory, getting rid of it quite quickly, but Shalka not building up from here. Being that he is further in the past, it is going to be difficult to do so. And I'm pretty sure I saw... No, I just saw this RP moving around. I thought I saw a factory being placed down, but I did not. I was incorrect. I don't know where his factory is going to be. It should be here under somewhere. No, it's not. It's going to be an RP. He's continuing to build more Gorilla economy. I just don't know about this. He's only got a few minutes to build up, and... It will take another minute just to build up a factory from here. Not to mention the units need to build, but he's building more and more RPs. And I mean, a factory would take actually about a minute or I think 40 seconds from the time he plops it down to the time it's fully teleported in. That's not trivial. And Shalka has had one of them discovered a proxy army being built, not a proxy factory. But his RP that was over in taking out some of Cybernetic Pony's resources, taken out, well, actually not too bad. It removed a good 300, I think. No, 160 resources, eight per pull. So it moved a good 160 liquid crystal. Not terrible, but for the size of the game this is looking to be, it's not gonna matter at all. Cybernetic points at a huge advantage. Losing a bit of liquid crystal is not going to set him back that far. And he still has half the crates in his base to go for. And it's really gonna make no difference at this point. However, Shaka was able to get quite a bit of economy at that spot first time he I mean Shalka was able to get 160 liquid crystal from that and that's still pretty good that's a couple RPs that's these two RPs right here though one of those really should be a factory if he wants to live and it looks like is the mech no that's an RP being moved over to this northwest factory being built as well and this proxy armory not being discovered more infantry being built up I think Shalka is well he's definitely going for a mass infantry push right now Sunday Pony has not built up any Mar tanks in fact Back when he is, this macrofab is not even it's not even halfway done. It's just barely started construction at the nine minute mark. Remember that that was up here three minutes ago, and that's when Cybernetic Pony was looking. Now Shaka, about a minute and a half up when, is continuing to build up, going for that push. Cybernetic Pony probably aware of it, and he does have a Mar tank up. I was looking for that. Cybernetic Pony is definitely prepared for this. He does not have ground units for Twin Mars. He does have machinery, so he could build basically any unit he wants. He could build up. Well, I guess more Martanks is really what you'd want. Tornads could be useful, but really just more Martanks at that at this point. Ground units is what he'd really need to go for if he wants to get the Twin Mar for the artillery to just tear apart the symmetry in no time. But the Mar on them, the Mars on their own will be fine. They'll have no issues. Now Shalka in the northwest, he is oh he's building up a mech. Probably gonna build up a defense turret from here to keep himself safer and going for ground units early on. Maybe he's going for Twin Mars first. That's possible, though probably unlikely. And here we go, here's the big push. The infantry coming in from the south, getting rid of one RP, and a Martank coming in to intercept. One Martank won't be enough to get rid of them, but it will be able to kill at least three or four, I think, before it's done. Kills one, kills two, and doesn't quite kill three. Almost kills them, but they moved such that they were retargeted. So only killing two infantry. This might change in the next iteration, but it looks like that's the most likely course of action. And the Martank... No, it's being pulled back. Saturday Pony not moving that forward, or at least not moving it forward quite yet. And the Martank, actually in great position, will be able to kill off one of them for free, taking one shot, but that's nothing. And this mech up here still not building anything, with Tornod going towards the northeast, trying to take care of what Shalka has left. Shalka's last test effort, losing another infantry for free. However, did get rid of two RPs. Not bad, but not great. Losing three infantry at this point, and another Martank up. Cybernetic Pony doesn't even have ground units, but he doesn't even need it at this point. The infantry aren't going for it. Looks like Shaka's trying to get them around, away from the Martank, just out of range. Probably going to go south of this QP crate. No, just going away from this attack entirely, just aborting the push. Probably the wisest course of action. 
Though I'm not sure what he's going to do with his infantry. He's really lost the element of surprise as far as this went. And Cybernetic Pony moving the Martanks out to get rid of this armory. And Tornad as well going to get rid of the armory. The Marines doing what they can to get rid of it. And they will be able to take care of it. But now the armory has been spotted and the Martanks are coming to destroy it. This is not going to last long at all. And Cybernetic Pony does not have ground units. Nor does he need that. However, Shalka did get ground units. And he's not using it at all. I don't know why he did. Other than maybe for... I mean, okay, probably got it for buffed marines, but I think I don't know why he did because he didn't actually build all that much infantry. I mean, he built eight or so, but all that much would be somewhere around 20 at this stage in the game. And he didn't go for that. So he's going to lose his infantry. He's not going to be able dealing that much more damage than it would have otherwise since he's going to be getting only a few shots in. Actually, he does kill an ATC. That wouldn't have happened without ground units. I will give him that. But he's losing the armory and doesn't have any backup plan. He has a mech, he has a factory, and he's not using much of either... He could build defense turrets, he could try to hold out, but at this point, Cybernetic Pony is just going to find him and destroy him. Cybernetic Pony has a couple tornadoes around the map, has his Martanks, his ATCs, has quite a few mechs, actually. Possibly afraid of air units. But at this point, there's really nothing to be afraid of. The only thing left is this factory to the north, and while Shalka could build some tornadoes off that, his best bet would probably be... Actually, probably would be tornadoes, come to think of it. Because the Martanks aren't able to hit air, and the ATCs, while fairly strong against air, are... No, never mind, it's not the best bet. These mechs... This is what these mechs are for, is to protect the Martanks. Make sure that they don't get killed by air units coming in and trying to rain on the parade. Tw Tornad and a tank coming in. The tank won't be doing too much good for the Tornad, because the Tornad is going for a harassment attack. Cybernetic Pony will have plenty of time to react to this. And it doesn't even matter. Cybernetic Pony just going to the northwest and finding everything, taking it out. The Tornad not even done at this point in time. So I won't be done for another half a minute or so. Or, no, more like 15 seconds. But it doesn't matter. This base is being torn to shreds. The units are coming in. The mechs will be in place to get rid of the Tornad once it's built. And there's that Tornad fighting with its counterpart on Cybernetic Pony's side. But to no avail, once Cybernetic Pony's reinforcements come in, it will die. And it will die un ingloriously. It will, however, have the tank as backup. But even then, the Martanx was tear to shreds. There's not much thing to be done. I think this Tornad might die, though. It might... Just take a bit too long for reinforcements to arrive. And actually, no, it doesn't. It gets in place. The mechs will be able to take care of this Tornad, and it will go down. Shaka losing that one Tornad he had, and the tank will be coming in in a moment. But even that won't be enough. And it looks like... Actually, Shaka... No, Shaka was able to move back, get the Tornad out of... Out of the way completely. No, it looks like... Slightly more advantageous, but to no avail. Regardless, he's stopped by a single mech. Oh, no, What? Three health! Survives with three health, and then another mech kills it. Okay, there we go. So, he is dead. He has officially lost the game. Defeated at 1532. There's not much he can do for that. And he has surrendered! So that was the game. Lots of infantry. Nice to see a CSO mirror. And we'll be back in just a moment with another game. And everyone in the chat is making a bunch of Exhibit Ridge jokes. Hearing that I liked my ridges. Anyway, be back in a moment. Stay tuned.